Gilmer nine 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 however many nines I have, but it's just Gilmer. And I'm back. This is episode six of my Let's Play Revolution Under Siege Gold. And I apologize I've been off for several days because I kind of got on a walking dead kick. I remember watching the first season when it came on television and I watched the full, first full season and then I kind of got bored with it and quit watching and I picked it up again on Netflix and I've been binge watching it for the last three or four days because I, I really found it more interesting this time than I did the first time around. So that's what I've been doing, but I am back. I haven't finished Walking Dead. I think I am in the third season and... Um, you know, I, I I gotta stop watching it at some point. I watched every night for the last three or four nights in a row, and and watched probably twelve or fifteen episodes. So I'm back, and I am. St I still remember where we were. I remember that Nizhny Novgorod was being sieged, and it's just this little bitty underpowered stack. I think it's because they are. They have either no supply or no cohesion or whatever that is. But this guy up here should be able to lift that siege. I have this guy, this formation, going to Kazan to, to strengthen it up a little bit because the gold train is on its way to Moscow. And that's the Trotsky train, but... This is the Imperial Gold Train, and I'm hoping that when it gets here that it will generate a lot of gold for me, and I'll use that to uh, start really, really making some headway in this game. The other thing that was going on when I left you was this situation, Samara. It's sieged. It has a force of about, what, that's, that's about 850 or so, several units. If I take this city then that'll be a huge blow against the Eastern Whites. And um, I don't know, it, it might completely take them out of the war. I don't know. I haven't played this game all the way through, so I'm hoping that we can uh, take this and uh, take it fairly quickly. And I think if I do get a, a breach, one breach, I can actually assault it or, or well, I don't know if I want to assault it if it's, that's more than 50% of what I have. I don't know if assaulting it would be that good of a d idea, but who knows? It might be an okay idea. Uh, around here we have uh, Ufa. For some reason they've backed off. There were some troops here sieging this place, and they've backed off. And I'm moving these guys up, but they're lo they are losing cohesion and strength severely. I think they were, when they started, they were 200 and something power. Now they're 34. So I don't think they're going to be any time, any type of trouble for the enemy anytime soon. They'll need to rest up and relax and do some R&R &R and, and regain their strength. Zaritsyn is still in pretty good shape, actually. I want to make sure I have all of these troops in the same region in Zaritsyn because if they are attacked by this 392 or this 436, I want them to be ready to repulse them. And then we have these troops down here. I'm moving them up to here. Uh, they'll be crossing a river, so... If they make it that far, I hope I kind of hope he's gone by then. But you never know. He might still be there. This formation is probably three or 400 at least. I think it was 700 at one time, but it, it, maybe it's not the very same formation I'm thinking of because it only has one regular and then several supply units. So who knows? Take a look at the screen their morale seems to be going up my morale seems to be staying about the same the greens look like they're 
they're building their forces up. If you look at this, and I mentioned this several times before, I'm not positive that in this game my baseline is 100 and I'm I'm the 100 and everybody else is a percentage off of my 100. I'm not positive I'm at 100 because that would make them only 51, 54 if you count the greens. That I should be crushing them if that's the case, but I think their troops are a lot better than my troops. But even so, I still think I should be crushing them. Maybe that's why they have the mechanism where – uh, my troops are locked down all the time. That might be the reason why they do that, to make it more even. The Vyatka Red Guards have hit, had some hit. Okay, so they're sitting out there. Let's move them up here. And let's move them by rail. Four days. Good deal. What? No way. I don't think we have anybody isolated. We're okay. I mean, we're losing some regions, but we're doing. We're still doing okay. Let's see. F one. No. F two. See what we always need. Buy some of those. That looks like that's fine. Uh, that should be pretty good in pretty good shape. Uh, the ships, I'm still not convinced that I really need to do anything for ships. Let's see what else we have here. I've done recomplete the pit rail pull already once. A couple of turns ago, so I don't think I want to do that again. Let's see if we can build any any units, but I don't want to build it in a place where it might get overrun. That would just be stupid to do it that way. Um, inf infantry brigade, early conscripts, early conscripts, early conscripts. Early conscripts. Uh, let's see. Red Cavalry Brigade, early conscripts. I guess everything is early conscripts. Ooh, artillery. I do need some artillery. Let's buy some artillery. And then let's build some. His power is 64, 76, 64, 65. Is that 84 maybe? Let's, let's buy one of those. And see if we can't build up some good forces here in Kazan and really defend it against. I don't think I have anything to fear from those guys. So let's see. Let's go ahead and save it. And then let's execute the next turn. Let's see how we do. I'm really hoping we can take some more. I might be able to knock the Eastern Whites completely out of the game. If their power is really as low as it says and they lose a formation, uh, several formations that add up to 800 power, they're not going to be worth anything for the rest of this game. And maybe that's the case. It only goes 86 turns or so. So maybe that's the case that it's a kind of a quick, things happen quickly once things get going. And so maybe if I take them, that, that's, that, that's how it works. I don't know. So let's see what happens with Samara. I'm really hoping we can take that place and, and take down, and take down the uh, Eastern Whites in quick fashion. I'm fighting against the British. They're not, I don't know if they're represented on the uh, objective screen. Here we go. This is Nizhny Novgorod. I'm getting better on those names. Nizhny Novgorod. I hope that's the way it's pronounced, but it sounds right. Look at that. We destroyed nine units. 
That was a... We lost zero men. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, crap. What was... What were these guys doing? Up there. S sorry, excuse me. I had to sniff. This looks like a, a white victory. Ah, stalemate. Look at this crap. Who are these guys? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh my god. What about those? Look at that guy's power. It's half of what it was last turn. He must be really hanging his ass out in the wind. Losing cohesion big time. What is that? Where is that? Oh, that's me. I was thinking that was me. <laughs> now the 243 guy is me. He's holding down the fort. He's doing a pretty good job. What is this? I really shouldn't have clicked the selection. Focus on every focus on every turn or every every move because it takes forever to do these moves because it focuses on every single unit that moves around. Looks like they're going for Armavir. I'd really like to take that armored train. Oh, that, that guy's power was 237. That might be a pretty uh, close battle. I still... So he retreated. See ya, arm of ear. Oh well. Can't win them all. That's kind of funny because I had them winning hardly any of them. Ooh, Ekaterinburg. Ekaterinburg. This is this looks like it's gonna be a nice little victory. What? Come on. We we didn't lose near as many men as they did, but we didn't destroy any units. All those little battles I'm going to lose. I'll try to mop them up. Balashai. The hell? Coming, coming after Perm again. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Hold out. Help's coming. Also was on a a hour long conference call today. I'm almost talked out, but you know you have to do that kind of crap, I guess. Given a I was given a uh, product uh, plug, I guess is what you'd call it. You know, I had another customer of the same product calling calling me to see how much I like the product, kind of giving the product review. And I, you know, I said I'd do it, but I, you know, after I, after I got in the middle of it, I was kind of sick of doing it. 
uh, leave Russia to organize a revolution in Budapest and his Hungarian Bolsheviks. Well, go on then, damn it. We don't need you, you sons of bitches. Southern Turkestan revolt. Japanese troops in the Far East. We got way more generals than we really need. Let's. No, 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 no. That's not where I wanted to go with him. Let's. There we go. I've moved those Viaka Red Guards, so not much I can do with them. These guys. Yeah, there's some decent troop, uh, decent supply there. We captured a supply unit in Nizhny Novgorod. Good for us. Why is this? Why is this out of supply? Nizhny Novgorod supply stocks is four thousand. How is this guy out of supply? Oh, he's the guy we captured. That's why he's out. He was with the other guy, and the other guy was out of supply. Now he's locked. I need to get him a commissar quickly. Where's a where's one of these commissars or check his line units? I think that helps. Turkmen regiment. That's not bad. Where are these political? Oh. No way, pal. Can I not build them at all? Is there any reason why I would not be able to build any? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, good. There we go. We'll build one right there. Maybe we can unlock him. They don't seem to take very long to build either. Let's see. This guy. Let's move him to Tambov. He doesn't seem like he's very strong. Yeah, we can give him that. He's 164. That's not bad. 164 in this in this game is not bad at all what it's November shit so it's snowing everywhere of course we're coming for you pal oh he's locked unbelievable unbelievable he's not active there's no breach They lost a lot of power, though. They're down to 600 and something. They lost 200 in power. I'm probably losing. I still got plenty of supply. So that's going to keep going. Let's see how Kazan's looking. We've got a ex-imperial officer. Okay. This guy's locked except for this guy. We'll move him. Dag nabbit. There we go. These aren't built yet, and this guy's not built yet. We really need to do something about this uh, formation. So let's let's do that. Moscow Brigade. He is unlocked. We'll put him 
with them. He's a one star. We'll put him with them as well. He's a one star. Let's put him with them as well. Moscow Brigade. They're locked. Um, Raja's Army. Moscow Lines. We'll put him. Why won't he... There we go. We'll put him with them. Uh, some of these... Ooh, some, most of these are unlocked. Where is that? Three forty-nine. Let's see. Oh, create a core. Oh, this could be a core. I didn't realize that. Still three forty-nine though. But we can we can work with that. Let's bring him to Kazan. Um, Fifteen days. I can live with that. Moraviev has been congratulated. That's him. He's got no supply to either. This is crazy. Look at that. Uh, stocks, 4,000. Ammo supply, 363. Maybe if I put him inside the inside the structure he'll do better and him too and him maybe that's how you do it I don't know I mean I really should know but normally it, it's not that bad we're losing a lot of these little podunk regions it's okay F9 Western White's 101, Green's 105, Eastern White's 98, I'm still at morale 119, total victory points, I have 30, 333, they have 131, they have 26, and they have 11, so I'm still doing well there. Let's see, holy shit, look at how many I need. Let's see if that helps out a little bit. I can't believe I am not. I mean, I'm sitting on top of these places. They should be getting some replacements, you would think. I mean, I'm not moving them very much. Uh, the guys in Kazan have not moved very much. The This guy, of course, he's not on a, a city or anything of our own. We don't own any any cities that he's sitting on top of so that's why he's probably not getting replacements but some of those others have been sitting on cities so I would think that they would be getting look at this this guy is at a 35 percent malice so what are we going to do about that where is that? Commissar Stalin is is unlocked. Where is Commissar Stalin? I don't see him. They're locked. He is not locked. Can I make him a core? Yeah. What is his 4 of 12? There we 
go. They're at 33%. Let's see. I need to put the microphone down so I can see if I can't make some of these uh, brigades. Okay. Oh. No wonder. Who did I click? There we go. Didn't really do a daggum thing, did it? He's locked. He is not locked. So we're going to take some of these guys out. Oh, come on, pal. Okay, let's see here. No. I'm still trying to figure out. Just made him a core. Look at that. He's he's at less command than he was when he before he was a core. Damn dumbass. There we go. Oh well. I'm sick of really. To be honest with it, honest with you, I'm sick of messing with that. I don't really know how much I would be doing shuffling these guys at this point they could use a, a commander though where did I put him I put him with these guys I didn't mean to do that there we go let's put him with Bloomberg with them. All right, look at that 401. So we we've increased our battle power there a little bit by reorganizing the forces somewhat. This guy, none of these guys are active. Well, he is. What's his power? 131. He's at 20%. Jeez Louise. To hell with this. I'm not even going to deal with them. Let's go ahead and save this turn. Um, I have 238,000 rubles, 674 conscripts, 80 war supply. Let's build some more troops. Can't hurt. 
Let's build them in Moscow, too. Let's build some more artillery. Um, there we go. That should be pretty good. Now, what are we doing with our objectives? Tashkent. Hmm. Odessa, Kiev. Some of these are not even reachable to be honest with you but uh, most of these I think are I know Irkutsk is I know Tashkent is I know Omsk is I know Samara is because I'm sieging it I don't know about Helsinki or Erevan I think I can take it if I had the troops there I thought a Katerinodar was oh that's there I still own it so yeah let's let's execute this turn and see what we can do. See if Samara gives me something. Look at that power of 926 and 430. I could really use that guy if he'd get into the get into the game. I think I'm doing all right. If I can take Samara, I think. That would be a huge blow against the whites because I think that would almost take the eastern whites completely out of the game and then I could focus on the western whites in the green. But we'll see. We will definitely see. Okay, here we go. Day one. Day two. Okay, I'll stop saying day one, day two, day three. That, that guy's bugging me. He only has... There we go. Take him down. Oh, it looks like we're destroying. Oh, yeah. We sunk two ships of theirs. How did we lose that? I don't care if they had two armored trains or not. Day is this? Stalemate. I can take Vladivostok as well. If I get enough troops up there. The Greens have taken a couple of cities. Should have won. Five oh eight. Oh, he's only at fifty two there. Four fifty six over there. So he split his forces up.
it'll probably give me a message if I get the 300 in gold from the gold train. That'll be nice. World War Armistice. The Armistice ends the World War One. Western Allies naval squadrons enter into the Straits. Oh, great. The Allies are going to start fooling around up in here in the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, I guess. Thanks to the gold reserve of the Tsars kept in Moscow, the Reds can purchase goods that are scarce in Russia from outside. They gain 300 rubles. All right, I told you we would get a message saying whether whether it worked or not. A lot of battles that cost each of us zero. Hmm. I'm not going to execute another term, but I am going to uh, plot some movements. We'll repair that. Saritzen. I might move these some of these uh forces down to wherever this guy is. He looks like he might be in the same region as me. We'll just see about that. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's see. Is he in? He's in Saritzen. Yeah, the Denisov force. Hopefully, not all of my guys are inside Saritzen. Let's see. This one's important. This is important. He's active. Why not? They don't look like they have any walls. I, I'm going to assault that one. And then he's at 1376. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good power rating to have been sitting outside an enemy fortress for so long. F9. They're still at 51 and they're at 6, so that would be 57 probably total arrayed against me, although the greens fight the whites too, so it's not like it's completely uh, against me. This scenario will end in 1922, early January. Okay. Alright people, uh, this is episode 6 of my Let's Play Revolution Under Siege Gold. I am Gilmer. I really appreciate you watching. And I do plan on posting videos a little bit more frequently. Now that I'm deeper into the show Walking Dead, I'm not going to watch as many episodes at night as I have been doing. I've been watching about 4 episodes a night. I can't keep doing that. It's, it's a little insane but we're doing okay um next time we'll see if i am able to take samara as you can see this guy was at 45 now he's up to 155 because he's uh regained some of his his uh troops see it was at 523 now it's down to 67 needed. Look at all those troops coming up. 
So anyway, I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like and pre please click subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And I'll see you next time.